Hello, this is David Diga Hernandez, and you are watching Spirit Church here on the Encounter TV Network. The scripture tells us that in the last days, many will fall away from the faith. And sadly, we have been seeing this occur. But I want to teach you a truth that if you learn it, it will create a solid foundation in your life. It will cause you to be so rooted in Christ that you will never fall away. I'm going to teach that truth to you right now. But first, Stephen Moctezuma is here with me. He's going to lead you in some very anointed worship. And then we're getting right into this message. Here is Stephen Moctezuma. You are the only one. You are the great I am. There's no one like you, Lord. There's no one like you, my God. Let all
I want to show you something that Jesus said. And it's found in John chapter 6, beginning at verse number 32. This is what the Bible says. Jesus said, I tell you the truth. Moses didn't give you bread from heaven. My father did. And now he offers you the true bread from heaven. The true bread of God is the one who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Verse 34, Sir, they said, give us that bread every day. Jesus replied, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Jesus here is telling us that he himself is the sustaining power in our lives. You know, when these people were talking about Moses and when often they referenced Moses and the bread that came down from heaven, they were talking about the manna that the children of Israel received while they were wandering in the desert. And while they're wandering in the desert, daily that bread came fresh from heaven. And they would eat from heaven and they would live off of the sustenance that God gave them miraculously. But one of the things that God told them to do, one of the things that he instructed was very simple. He made it clear that when they took the bread, when they took the sustenance, they were to use it daily. They could not save yesterday's sustenance for today's strength. In the same way, we cannot live solely on yesterday's revelation. We cannot live solely on yesterday's experience. If you and I want to stay rooted in Christ, we must come to realize this. It's Christ alone. It's Jesus alone. And it's Jesus alone daily. So often, we look for fulfillment in things of the world. We look for fulfillment in money. You won't find fulfillment there. We look for fulfillment in relationships. We say to ourselves, if only I can find that perfect relationship, then and only then will I be fulfilled. But you won't find that fulfillment in relationships. Often people say, if I can get that career, if I can meet that goal, if I can finish that project, then and only then will I be fulfilled. But you'll find that when you've obtained everything that you want in this world, if you ever obtain it at all, you'll find that you will be empty if not for Christ. You'll find that the things of this world cannot satisfy. Only Jesus can satisfy the deepest longing of the soul. Only Jesus can fill that void. Only Jesus can satisfy that hunger. If you eat of this world, you'll be hungry again. If you eat of the power that the world gives you, you'll be hungry again. If you eat of just relationships that you can find in everyday life, you will be hungry again. Nothing in this world will satisfy you. And we have to learn to focus in and find our satisfaction in only Him. Listen to me, believer. You can believe for a miracle and that's wonderful. You can believe for a breakthrough and that's wonderful. You can ask God to bless you, and that's wonderful. Often the scripture tells us that we are to ask. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, Jesus tells us to ask, to seek, to knock. He wants to open the door. He wants to grant the request. He wants to answer your prayers. However, life will not always turn out the way you want it to turn out. God will not always respond the way you want Him to respond. God will not always give you that thing you are requesting. This is why we must learn to be rooted in Christ, to find our satisfaction in Him. Nothing you could ever desire will fulfill you. I'm telling you this right now. You can search. You can seek it out. You can work for it. You can fight your way to the top of the ladder, but you'll find that it's loneliness at the top of that ladder. You'll find that the things of this world will leave you empty and disappointed. Jesus is the only one. His presence is the only thing that when you experience it, leaves you fulfilled. Everything else you could ever want will leave you empty. We often imagine that if we simply can get to a certain place in life, that education, that place in life financially, that place in life in our relationships, that place in life in our health. We imagine that when I get there, then I will be happy. Then I can really begin enjoying my life. Then I can have peace. Then I can relax and just experience the goodness of God. No, 
You should not wait for what you see as the ideal situation to begin enjoying the presence of Jesus. Here's the wonderful thing about Jesus. He'll never leave you or forsake you. Friends will turn on you. Material things come and go. Things of this world decay. But Jesus is life eternal. Jesus will never leave you. Jesus will never forsake you. Jesus will never reject you. You may fail him time and time again, but the scripture declares that he is faithful even when we are not, for he cannot deny who he is. Christ and Christ alone is the source of my joy. Christ and Christ alone is the source of my peace, my strength. You know, often people talk about things such as depression, anxiety, fear, stress, pressure. And we talk about these things as if Christ is not the answer to them. Now, I understand what people are saying or what they're trying to say when they tell us that Jesus alone cannot free us from these things. And at the beginning, it could sound like they're making sense. Upon first hearing this thought, you may think, that makes sense to me. Because some preachers even will tell you, well, the presence of God can fulfill you. The power of God can set you free. But you'll always have depression. You'll always have anxiety. Those will be things you always have to deal with. I'm just going to be honest with you. That's not what the Bible says. The scripture declares, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Are you anxious? Are you depressed? Are you unfulfilled? Then take your eyes off the world. Take your eyes off the situations around you and put your eyes on Jesus. Focus on Him and Him alone. And when you do this, I mean truly do this, then you will experience that peace. Now some will say, well, I've tried that. I've tried to pray this away. I've tried to read the Bible. I've tried to experience His presence. And none of those things work. Look, the, the scripture says, let God be true and every man a liar. In other words, though it may sound cruel of me to say that you just have to pray more, you just have to get more of His presence, even though I believe His presence dwells in us, that may sound cruel to say, but it's the reality. And we are doing people harm when we tell them that prayer is not enough. We are doing people harm when we tell them that the presence of Jesus is not enough. Jesus is not only enough, He's the only thing that can set you free. He's the only thing that can satisfy. Stop chasing the things of this world. I'm surprised that we as believers do this. We as believers chase the things of this world. We as believers seek out fulfillment in things that are not Christ. And this is why many of us are displaced spiritually. This is why many of us are discouraged. This is why many of us walk about with heaviness. It's because we have not fully experienced the reality of His love. We have not fully experienced the reality of His presence. When the presence of Jesus becomes real to you, everything else fades into the background. John chapter 3 verse 30 says, I must decrease, but He must increase. When we learn to focus on Jesus, the things of this world begin to fade. We find our strength in Him. We find our peace in Him. We find our fulfillment in Him. Well, that's it for the lesson. I want to pray with you now. I want to pray that God would take you to the place where He can deliver you, where He can set you free. Let's agree in prayer now. And let's believe that today that you will focus your mind on Him again. That you will find your peace in Him. I'm amazed that even believers can be so easily distracted. But the pursuit of the Christian life is that we would decrease and He would increase. Let's pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus. I lift that one to you who's believing to find that foundation in their walk with you. Speak to them, Lord. Cause them to focus solely on your face. Cause them to see you in the midst of their struggle. Let your presence become so real to them that their lives are transformed. 
precious name of Jesus, we pray. I want you to say it because you agree. Say amen. There's someone watching me right now. You've been battling heavily with depression. And you, like many, have been told that prayer alone is not enough. You've been told that, and some people have told you that thinking they're doing you a favor. Let me tell you the truth. The Word of God has the final say. I know it may sound harsh, and I'm not questioning your spirituality. I'm simply saying that we as humans can so often take our focus off Jesus without even realizing it. But we got to find our way back. So I'm talking to someone right now who's battling heavily with depression. And, and you've been considering taking your own life. This is God intervening with your plans. This is the Lord speaking to you now. He's saying to you, He's with you. He's not left you. And He won't forsake you. Stay focused on Jesus. You're going to make it. I want to welcome now the new members of Spirit Church. There you are up on the screen. We love you and we are praying for you. I always say that because I always mean it. If you like information on how you can join the Spirit family, go to davidhernandezministries.com slash spiritchurch. When you sign up, and by the way, it's absolutely free, you will receive an email from us every single week. In that email, you'll receive a brand new teaching from me a brand new worship cover from Stephen Moctezuma, and the best part, you can reply to that email for prayer support from our ministry staff. Join the Spirit family, now almost 10,000 members strong, and those members come from all around the world. Go to davidhernandezministries.com slash spiritchurch today. And now to your comments. And these comments are from the last teaching we did, which was actually done in the old-fashioned way before we got this wonderful new set. And by the way, if you haven't seen the clip yet, make sure you go watch the video that we released that kind of gives you a little digital tour of the studio. It's a wonderful place where we use the newest technologies that are the most efficient at reaching people with the gospel. So I'm reading comments from the video, The Five Types of Prophetic Gifts. And this teaching actually highlights the five different type of prophetic gifts that you can operate in. I break those down for you. I tell you what they are. And of course, I give biblical support for those gifts. Go watch that teaching. And while you're at it, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're watching by YouTube. Like, comment, share, help us spread the word. And I'm reading now your comments from five types of prophetic gifts. The first commenter writes, There's so much of the anointing whenever Brother Stephen sings the worship song and Sir David preaches powerfully. I always wait for Monday so that I can learn new things about Jesus and his gospel. Thank you, Brother Stephen and Sir David, for everything. And may God bless you both. May you both continue to glorify God's name and his kingdom in the coming days. And also, please come to India soon. Yes, we are prayerfully considering India. The nations are opening up right now. People are inviting us from all around the world. I'm going to talk to you about how you can get behind us in just a moment. Kelsey writes, Thank you, David. I love your channel and your sermons. Praise the Lord for the worshipers on your channel too. Absolutely, we love working with the Holy Spirit. This is His channel, and He can do whatever He wants with it. And I so appreciate the worship ministry of Mr. Stephen Moctezuma, my absolute favorite worship leader. Edith Lopez writes, Wow, the way Stephen was singing was so touching. You could see how he was singing and worshiping from his heart. May God continue to bless your ministry, Pastor David. And the final commenter writes, This is truly a blessing and an, an anointed ministry. Pastor David, praise God for leading me to this channel. I really love this series. Being a partner of this ministry will truly be an in eternal investment. Praying and looking forward to graduate, land a job, and be a partner soon. This is my motivation. For now, I'll continually pray for you from the Philippines. God bless Spirit Church. Well, God bless you, and thank you for your heart to partner with us. And this is where I want to talk to you now. If you love what this ministry is doing, and you want to help us continue to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit all around the world through events and media, then go to davidhernandezministries.com slash donate today. Let me tell you something. Jesus has never held back from you. He gave you His best. God the Father has never held back from you. He gave you His Son. The Holy Spirit has never held back from you. He's been there, hasn't He? In your weakest moments, in your darkest times, the Holy Spirit's been with you. No, God has never held back from you. Why? Because He loves you. So I want to encourage you. 
Don't hold back from Jesus today. Give him your very best. I want to encourage you to support this ministry. When you support this ministry, you're giving to Jesus. And that's really what this is all about. We give to Jesus, not so that we can get, not just so that we can bless, though that be blessed, but that's biblical, yes. We give to Jesus because we love him and we love souls. So I encourage you today, give a one-time gift to this ministry or become a monthly partner. You can give a one-time gift of any amount by going to davidhernandezministries.com slash donate. Also, at the same place, you can become a monthly supporter. We appreciate monthly support of any amount. But if you will become a $30 or more a month supporter, I will send you either Carriers of the Glory, Encountering the Holy Spirit in every book of the Bible, or 25 Truths About Demons and Spiritual Warfare. It will be my initiation gift to you to say thank you for your support. I'll sign it, send it to you, and we'll be glad that you read that. We'll be glad that you receive that because it's our way of saying thank you. So become a partner today. Be a part of all of this. Help us continue to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ all around the world as we touch the world with the power of the Holy Spirit. Do that today. Click on the link. If you're watching on YouTube, click at the link that appears at the end of this video. Or again, go to davidhernandezministries.com slash donate. Well, that is it for this edition of Spirit Church here on the Encounter TV Network. Until next time, remember... Nothing is impossible with God. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, help me win souls by spreading the gospel through events and media. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.